Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Raven. Welcome back to some more Hearts of Iron 3 playing Japan with probably the biggest puppet master trick in the world now that the United Kingdom is under our control and a part of the Axis. Yeah, it's still a tiny bit weird, but I don't mind at all. We have been attacked in Kostelmansville because the Belgians are crazy. That's a given. Um, yeah, the South Africans are a bit far away. They're in foreign territory, so they should at some point actually have no more uh, supply coming in. They cannot abuse that part of it, hopefully. What we need is Cape Town down here and Johannesburg to actually beat them as well. Um, we're moving most of our troops into Algiers in an attempt to go and take uh, Corsica over here. We have some more stuff going on. That's German transport. Whose is this? That would be Madeira. That's Portuguese. Okay, at least Spain doesn't own any weird parts anywhere else, I believe. No, it's just Portugal that has points everywhere in the world. Uh, more stuff arriving in Algiers. And just afraid that the this amount of troops is definitely not enough. I mean, eventually we'll have nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> ten divisions uh, ready to take over Spain. And that is probably not enough. One would assume. Um, Gibraltar Strait. Won the Battle of Stanleyville, good. That means that we're also winning the Battle of um, Kostermansville, I would assume. Okhoch approach. Ah, yes. These guys are gonna land over here. Uh, hopefully, get us some supply there and then just drive inland. Last port that the Soviets actually own over here. And whenever you're ready, you go to Nimoy and Ayan. And can then you are connected over there. Three transports. Yeah, they should get ready out of supply soon. Give them some stuff. Oh yeah. Excellent. So let's look at the map mode. Want to keep them in flat terrain as much as possible. So we're just gonna drive this way. Won the Battle of Kostermansville, as is expected, really. Um, let's see. Whenever you're ready, you are going this way to Elizabethville, which is actually a play. Whoa! Actually, decent sized army there. You should have supply. Yeah, it just needs to update again, I assume. Alger and Alger. Come on, guys. Sometimes you're definitely not out of supply while well, you pretend to be out of supply. Mm -hmm. And there they have supply and they don't have a lot of fuel though. They still can make the move. Mm -hmm. How are these guys doing? Still some fuel and everything else. Uh, only three more provinces to go, actually. That's pretty good. Zeya. That's in Enter the Forest of Silka. Uh, slowly but surely. I do... Okay, you can redeploy all the way over here now. There we go. Bogorodskoy. Um, okay, seriously? Are you going that way? Okay, yeah, I just need you there. You can redeploy up here. You j just take these for a change. Come on. Um, so they're going there. Um, yeah, let's all redeploy over here. I mean, I don't need them. And I just want my uh, Marines for other things now. Probably just gonna bring them all the way over to South Africa and, and attempt to take that. Might as well. I mean, the mountain brigades are keeping up appearances over there. 
All these HQs, sure thing. Let's move them north. Killock. Oh, hello. Um. Hmm. Let's move on Irkutsk slowly. You can go that way if you can make that. And we have one more militia force ready. Okay, they're attacking Elizabethville. Probably going to be lo losing that one, but might as well give it a shot. So where are we going to place all these militia? I mean, there are so many more now going towards Rangoon because that's where I'm sending them all. The question is, where am I going to use them? Because over here, we, yeah, it's, huh. I mean, they're probably not strong enough really to reinforce the uh, attack on the Soviet Union. Probably, yeah, now that I actually don't have to have the occupation force in India. Huh. I'm gonna still drop them here and call them the Indian Corps because that's what they were for. So you're getting, getting attached. This will be the 5th Indian Corps. 5th Indian Corps attached to the Indian Army. And probably just get some skill 1s or something. Do you have anyone? No, no skill 1. Yeah, skill 2 with Logistics Wizard is not something I like to get right now. And you also have skill 1. Indian core. <laughs> Leaders make them a little bit more efficient in handling supply and they will have more uh, organization with the leader actually than they do without. And yes, that's the ships have arrived over there. They are, they are doing decent. Yeah, the weather is a problem. It's just so freakishly muddy, of course, because it's winter. And that's not helping. Um, do we have an... Yeah, we do have a transport fleet. What the hell? Um, why are there Americans here? Oh, no. These are the British troops that are returning to the Americans. Seriously? Bogorodskoy, yeah, now I want you to redeploy up here. Probably gonna use more forces to go to Europe and uh, support the Soviet attack here in the south. Pro at least gonna try that. Um, we do have so many forces over here. I actually th feel like all of you are not really necessary over here. Um, if I just cancel your movements, all of you, and redeploy you over there. I mean, they are fast, so that is makes them useful for this area. We have so many more forces ready to just take everything. Yeah. And you're also not moving. Dialect, good, we're finally attacking the... Uh, Oh, Portugal is offering us transit rights. It's awfully nice of them. Oh yeah, British aircraft are also now available. Huh. So, yeah, but they won't have supplies. That's the thing. They will not have supplies. So just probably going to use a simple division to take them out soon enough. Anyway, I need my marines. Onto the ship. I'll check in a second over here. I'm gonna move these guys over there. Move order. Oh crap. Uh, Julian. Um. Fine province. G U L I. Julian. Ah, over here as well. Yeah. Continue your march forward. Um. Knife fighting equipment. That's oh god. Right now, forty nine. I see use on upgrades. Actually pretty good that we have that. That will make us so much stronger throughout everything, basically. 
Um, yeah, anti-tank ammo and muzzle thingamajigs. Muzzle velocity. In other words, making it faster to shoot the tank guns, which makes them pierce better. I believe that's the general idea. Um, heart attack piercing attack goes up. Barrel and sights is, of course, um, well, aiming, sort of. <sighs> Good. Uh, these guys, yeah, they're still going pretty fast despite the weather here. Lost the Battle of Elizabethville. Well, that was actually a little bit expected. Um, I think that should be fine. The British are moving back over here. And this is a really large area, though. Um, this is a victory point location for the Belgians, though. And I actually expected to lose a fight when I saw how many troops there were. Yeah, not surprised in the least. Oh, we're actually gaining supplies. Hello, production license requesting our permission and technical expertise in producing two units of rocket interceptor. Sure thing, Britain. You're my friend now, so why not? More daga. Um, over here we have a regular infantry unit. You are moving all the way over there then. Bonifacio Straits. Um, yeah. Let's have both of these guys drop into Ayakio. Uh, oh, wow. Just an HQ actually. Won the battle. Even though there are quite a few... Um, Paratroopers, they will have to be flown out, I suppose. Huh. Kogun. Okay. Yeah, whenever you can get there. Nikolaevsk Aramure. That's the first one there. There are a couple more incoming soon enough. Oh, just one right now? Hmm. Oh, right. Here, another Marine. Yeah, they can go around. They can stay here. Julian, let's go to Bomnas Bomnaksk. Bomnaksk, all these names sometimes. Lost the province of Port St. John's. No. Damn. Zuk Makar. Ustkarsk. Yeah, keep on moving. Light cruiser main armament advance already done. Well, we are in... Um, this time frame. Small warship, anti-submarine warfare. Sure thing. We'll get to upgrading submarines as well soon anyway. We have so much tech going on that should actually be useful. Are you actually winning? Oh yeah, definitely. We have almost no organization going on. We do. A lot. Safely arrived in Ayakio. Um... Okay, you can go rebase in here. I want you to drop in there. Battle of Calvi. Ah, okay. Um, the other one, I want you back. Oh, hang on. Wait, what? Oh. Well, I'm sure they can stick around for there, there for now. Didn't realize we had two of them. You get back on the ships. Move you into the straits again. Um, this carrier does, of course, is really beaten, but I'm going to put you in Gibraltar. You're going to make another amphibious landing, this time on the HQ yet again. Makes it fun. Um, what are these? CAGs. Interesting. Light cruiser engine advance. There we go. Yeah, I feel like we have to do some submarine stuff as well. So let's get started on submarine engine done in june wow submarine stuff is definitely not very um up to date for us won the battle of corte this is giving them no place to retreat basically <laughs> okay they cannot yeah i cannot set that move command while they're attacking sadly switzerland is also a thorn in our sides. It just looks bad in the middle of Germany being all, well, 
neutral and stuff. Um, Argentina responsible, good rocket carriage and sights advance. I like it makes it to the 1942 level. April 22nd, I'll keep it going. One more. Uh, another transport, Boston Izmir route, Izmir. Um, is, yeah, that's Turkey. Interesting. Navy carrier task force has arrived in Gibraltar. Ah, very good. Um, terrain map mode. Ooh, mountains. We'll have to go this way. So also slowly cut off some forces, hopefully. Far Eastern Theater headquarters has been discovered. Bukakaka. Oh, that was the one I just started, of course. Arrived in Corte. Here, actually, no, that was impossible. You've been attacked there. We've won the battle. Oh, they tried to escape, but they failed miserably. Just making the move to Bastias for when they are retreating, which they currently cannot do into court. So, militia support weapons advance. Let's go to Militia Light Artillery, April 13th. That's a bit further up. Stuff is being sunk in the background again. One more, there we go, Militia Light Artillery. Um, north, northern and coast of Colombia. Oh, over there. Nice. Oh no, the Americans are retaking the rest of uh, of Mexico. That's so bad. Rare materials, Cuba. We they would be responsible. I don't mind. Militia, small arms can be switched over to ta anti-tank weapons. And I just got brought dessert in, which is against. Um, Rules and regulations over here. Yeah, they're not supposed to disturb me while I'm recording this stuff for you guys. More research is possible, probably because we took something with a little bit of leadership. Just a tiny bit, though. Um, Republican Spain is mobilized. They weren't mobilized. Now they are. They know stuff is up. Because, is it seriously? Nah, it can't be just them. Can it? Huh. Nikolaevsk and Amure, that's two of the Marines. Will be some time. Well, they're almost here, the other ones. The last one, I'm just gonna retreat back all the way to somewhere like here and then get them out of Korea. Well, of Calvi was one, and it doesn't matter because the troops have been disappeared completely. Whenever you've taken it, turn around. Should be fine. And then we will take them out again and set up some other stuff here. Oh, they're giving their troops to Vichy France for defense as well. Interesting choices, of course. These British Marine, no, these American Marines are still hilarious. Won the Battle of Hanumanagar. We're, we're getting there eventually. Um, Bukakaka. Seriously, we've been attacked by an HQ there. Pe Petro Pavlovsk. Ah, we're attacking HQs and they try to retreat into areas where they can't retreat, really. And now we take... Ah, no, not supply issues again. Come on, guys. Almost no supplies. Light cruiser armor advance. Um, yes, submarine hull. July 2nd, holy crap. Very far behind in sub tag. Still going slow as hell, but you're almost there, almost. Yeah, it's 4 p.m. today. Dilek, battle is won. Um, sure, you go that way, you go this way. They've arrived back there, they just need to go up and down. Silka, send you there. This is just slow because it's winter and it's cold, it's muddy everywhere. It'll go a bit faster when it's summer again, I hope. 
Um, how are victory points over here? Yeah, Jakutsk is a victory point. Then all the way here, Aleksandrovsko. Alma-Ada, Novosibirsk, Omsk. Huh. Kathmandu. Actually, not that many forces. Did we add that war goal? Yeah, we did. We puppet them. Good. Then they will be our puppets. We can send all the militia back home to Rangoon. Bridging equipment and assault weapons at the same time. I do believe. Yep. Engineers, eat your heart out. Also, wow, 72 in upgrades right now. I should have checked earlier when I said check it for the upgrades. Yeah, it's in, that went up by at least 30, but we've been doing some other research in the meantime as well. I'll put on some more submarine stuff, and that's done in June 13th. Because it's easier than the submarine hull. Probably, I'm going to build a few more submarines because they are strong at keeping supplies down to a minimum in places medium tank engine light cruiser anti-aircraft armament is done tomorrow infantry warfare is done tomorrow oh boy that's gonna be good anyway that's the end of this episode not many advances but it's winter it's cold we did take back uh, corsica over here so at least that's going great romania has all its territory back the Soviets are still scrambling, and now they do hand... Oh, and the Hungarians are breaking out further. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. I will see you guys later.